How's it going everyone? This is Glenn here, once again with another Rope Rage video, with a slightly different perspective today on the topic of preparation. Now I'm sure you've heard the saying, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So I thought it'd be a good idea to put a little video together showing my preparation process. For me, good preparation allows you to get the most out of your training to minimize the risk of injury, allowing you to train more, and those two elements, getting the best out of each training session and being able to train frequently are what will accelerate your progress. So, let's get into it. First thing I'm doing here is a lot of swinging of the rope, some bouncing on the balls of my feet, but no real jumping and definitely no jumping over the rope. Now, why do I do this? If the idea is to prepare the body going from cold, pretty much ice cold in London right now, although that sun and clear sky in the background says otherwise, I think the best thing to do is to focus on warming up the body, warming up the joints and not on timing your jumps and certain techniques. Invariably, if you're going off cold into a straight session, technique isn't going to be as sharp as it is when you're warm. You might mess up, you might trip over the rope, and this just hampers the warm up process, hampers you from getting into your flow. And if it's particularly bad, you might get a bit frustrated. We definitely don't need that at the start of the session. So something you might not notice from watching the video is that these side swings here going behind the back are really good for activating the tricep and for activating your back muscles. There are a lot of tutorials on the channel on this type of move, so you can check them out if you'd like to. But what I found when doing this with my warm ups was that I could hit a section of muscles that I couldn't really hit when I'm rotating the rope in front of the body as usual. So you'll notice that I've started with some very normal swinging of the rope, but gradually as the warm up progresses, those swings get a bit more complex. They change planes, change positions, a lot of hand switching, and it's really to just increase that mobility of the arms as you're going. The arms are gonna be doing a lot of work, especially if you're swinging that rope at high intensity. So they need to be prepped. So after spending some time swinging that rope, really mobilizing the joints and getting the muscles warm, this means moving through all sorts of patterns, moving backwards rotations, forwards rotations, across the body and either side of the body. Then I'm going into some high knee movements now. In jump rope training, unless you're doing squat jumps or you're doing sprints or something like that, you're stood upright a lot of the time. So the calf muscles are doing great. The calf muscles are getting really warm at this point, but the muscles in the thighs, the glutes, the hamstrings, they're not really being activated. So it's a good idea to consciously work on raising the knees to get some movement going there before you get into your session. while we are bouncing on the spot so keeping flow keeping rhythm this is helping us to get warm as well but we're also subconsciously improving our timing jumping in time with those swings and hey you don't have to trip over the rope each second and start again so it's a win-win really easy to get into a nice flow quickly Okay, so this is something I like to do, which I call snapping. You're swinging the rope across the body, but as you transition from right to left, you snap the wrist very quickly to get this slicing sort of effect. I would only really do this a few minutes into the warm up because if you're to do this on really cold joints, really cold muscles, you could strain something. But it's a good way to get ready for that intense swinging. The sword swing tutorial goes into this sort of snapping movement in a lot more depth. So at this point, I'm starting to switch my stances a lot more. I'm less facing front on and I'm switching to a side on stance with the left foot leading, side on stance with the right foot leading. 
a really good way to mobilize a core as you're moving rather than being static and stationary and facing forward. Alright, so that's about it. I hope you found this video helpful. Slightly different perspective here, but an important one nonetheless. We have to take time to consciously prepare with the idea being that we're going to maximize our training and minimize our injury risk. If you found this video helpful or useful in any way, do hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more of these videos and are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. There are a lot of tutorials on the channel which break down the techniques in this video and much, much more. So do check those out also. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check out this video. And until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. You must subscribe. If you don't, we have no videos. <laughs> subscribe to this video once again. Subscribe. That's it. Thank you. And subscribe for all the videos that we watch. If it's finished, we get more videos coming on. Yeah. So subscribe to all of the videos that we watched. You must subscribe. Press the press button and then you will see all the different kind of buttons you want to press. You can press which one is your favourite one, then you can choose which one is your favourite one. You have to learn and you have to train so you can get big. Yeah. Subscribe! <laughs>